Hi, this session is about the RAG with Azure AI search and here the difference is that we will be exploring vector, hybrid, exhaustive KNN and a semantic ranker with Azure AI search. So let's see this in action. First of all, we have already got this Azure AI search and uh, configured and what we have done is to put some documents in there and uh, the index is already here and biology is the name of the index and if you click on it there are 73 documents in it and you can search directly from here we'll explore this and we will see this vector search hybrid search and the exhaustive canon and the semantic ranker search so what is it so here this is what we are trying to see and then what would happen is that when we are searching, these things are happening. When you put in a user input, it gets converted into an embedding vector. This embedding vector is then used to create a vectorized query and then we search in Azure AI search and then it is sent for processing the results. That is the search part. And next what we do is that once the results are returned, we use an orchestrator and here we will see Langchain. And in Langchain, we will see a conversation chain. We'll use a prompt template. We'll see a conversational change with memory. And here, what we will use is that once the results are there in the orchestrator, we'll pass it to Azure OpenAI to get the results. So let's see this in action in code. So if you have not watched my video on how to put data into Azure AI search, I would strongly recommend, please do watch it. The link will be in the comments. But let's now dive in of how do, do we do the Azure AI search. So before we jump in, let's see it in action. So here's a Streamlit AI uh, application and it has got two modes, a question answering and a chat. And you can select the analysis type and you can say you can use Langchain. And so if I say this search, the results, so it's going in and it is searching there and it also gives a tokens here and the details from where it is getting the answers is displayed here and there is also history which is being provided so let's see if you say it is platy elminthes so the result is here result will come up the details will show from where it has got the answer from where, from which place it has got the answer. So these are the results and the history of the conversation is being provided. So this is a memory part that is that is being given. Okay. So this is the part that is uh, there. So there is hybrid search and you can select here the semantic search and here also you can see this is, this you can do through semantic search. So let's see this in action in code. So for that, what we have done is that, so the code will be checked into GitHub and I'll share the link. We've created one function, the custom Azure AI search, and the, we are configuring it with the endpoint. So if we go to the env.sample, so it has got, we are configuring it with the endpoint with index name, the admin key and the semantic config name. So you can find all of it here. If you go into these fields, so these are the fields which have been configured here. The semantic configuration is this. And we have also have a vector profile for this. So this is the first part. And, and if we go into the, into the class, so this is the initialization. And now the get results vector search is where uh, is a vector search happening. So first is that we'll get a vectorized query, we'll search it, and you see if it's a pure vector search, it is none, and you pass the vector query, list the fields, and then you also configure the number of results to return. And the number of results to return is also configurable here. So it is three here, you can change it to, you can change it to four, five, and something like that. So this is the number of results to return. So this is for the vector search. Now, now let's go in to the, what is the vectorized query? 
So when we are saying the, what is a vectorized query, here we see that it's a vectorized query. First, we are getting the embedding vector and we'll come back what is the embedding vector and then we go and getting the vect vectorized query, we pass the query vector, the k nearest neighbors and the fields which are to be sent. So the fields here, what we are asking it is that the embedding field name. So the embedding field name is a field that we have configured here. Uh, that we will pass in and the exhaustive KNN is true for the exhaustive KNN when it is a flag and then there is the embedding field name. The embedding field name is a field which is used for the embedding vector. So this is the embedding field name and the list of fields is what we are returning back. So this if you go into the Azure AI search, so this is a vectorized query. And for the, for the embedding query vector, this is the embeddings we want to get. If you go here, you can see that we are using sentence transformer. And this is the model name that we are using. And if you go back to the environment variable, we are using the all mini LM L6 V2, which is a dimension of 84. That is what we are using. So in summary, so if you go back and see this thing, we are taking an user input, we are getting the embedding vector, we are getting the vectorized query, we search in Azure AI and we process the results. So that's what is represented in the code. So for, for other things like the hybrid search, the difference here is that for the pure vector search, we are only passing this. For the hybrid search, we pass a text query also, which is a combination of a vector search and a regular search. For exhaustive KNN search, the difference is that we are creating the vectorized query where exhaustive KNN is true. And for the semantic search, the difference is that the more, more or less it's everything is the same except that we are passing in the query in the search text, we are putting it to the vector query, we are doing a semantic query type and, and we are doing the query answers here and we are getting the top results. So, this is what is happening out here and we get the results to return down here. So this is the search which is happening and once the search is done, what we do is that we pass into Azure OpenAI. So in Azure OpenAI, we are using the Azure, Azure OpenAI here and here this is what we are using Azure OpenAI and we are creating the prompts, we are generating the answers, and we are generating the reply from the context, in which we are passing the context which is here. So let's see of how Langchain and everything is all bound together. So in app.ai, what happens is that the flow is like this. You, you put in an user, user query, and then, and then we get the search results which results have the result content and the result source. And then we join all the result contents to create the content. And then we get the reply from the LLM in which if you go down here, what we are doing is that we are replying from the context here. We are passing in the content, which is the context and we are passing in the conversation here. So this is how which is this is happening. So this is all about without the Langchain, but if you're using Langchain, what is happening is that, so here for the Langchain, you, you are using this statement here, get reply Langchain streamlit. So if you go down here, go to definition, so here what we are doing is that we are using a conversational buffer, okay? And then, then we are passing it the conversational buffer with the content and the user input. Now, if you go to the get reply lang chain, what is happening, it returns the reply from the LLM. The conversation buffer is not initialized, we initialize it. So if the conversation buffer is null, we are initializing the conversation and we are getting the prompt template and we are also using a callback to get the total number of tokens. 
So here, if you see the converse, initialized conversation here, you can see this, we are using a conversation buffer here. Here we are using a conversation chain and we are using a conversation window memory of k is equal to 3. So this, if you see, and then this is the code that we are putting. We are initializing the conversation with this, with a conversation buffer and using a conversation chain and a conversation window memory of k is equal to 3. That means in the memory, we'll keep the last three conversations. So once this is done, we are getting the prompt template. And what is a prompt template? If you go to definition here, this is a prompt template. And here, if you see what is the thing, answer the question based on the context blue, the answer cannot be answered using the information provided, answer with I don't know. And then it is pass a context and it is pass a query. And then we are taking in the prompt template and we are formatting it. So, and then we are doing the invoke on the conversation chain with the input prompt that is set to get the reply back. So this is uh, the thing that is happening with the buffer and um, let's go here. And uh, we can show the history down also here. We can also have the chat version in which we are using the chat version here. And you can browse through the code in which we are using the streamlit session to store the generated and the past. And it's basically the same thing. And uh, only thing is that we are showing uh, the response out here. So this is more or less it. And I, this is the code will be checked into GitHub and you can see it. You can also see the results of the tokens down here. So this is a function which does most of the part in Langchain. So it is initializing the conversation buffer and it is getting the reply using the conversation chain uh, and the uh, conversation buffer memory. So if you see it in action, uh, if you see the chat also, uh, if you put here, so this is a chat format in which as if it is chatting and you can get it here. So you see here what is So you see this in action here in which it is maintaining the history as well it is and you see the number of tokens which is being updated continuously and it is maintaining the conversation buffer also. So you see this this keeps on increasing. So this whole history is being maintained and this is how we are maintaining the vector search, the hybrid search and the exhaustive KNN search. In summary, through this application, we have explained RAG with Azure AI search and Azure OpenAI. We have used Langchain. We have used Langchain. We have used the conversation memory. We have used the conversation chain. We have used a prompt template. You may see the places where we have used all these things. So this is a place, a get reply Langchain is a place where you can see this in action where we are initializing the conversation, we are getting the prompt template and we are invoking using the conversation buffer. So the initialized conversa conversation is a place where all these things are happening. This is an important function where we are initializing the Azure chat open AI, the conversation chain and the conversation window memory. Hope you liked it. Thank you. Bye.